Okay, guys, we're gonna be watching a uh, Talon main from Korea. He is uh, rank 375. The reason I want to watch this Talon is that he may or may not convince me to go with, like electrocute on Talon. As you know, lethality is like really bad right now because most like mages like mid they immediately rush Seeker's arm guard and it basically negates all the lethality that you have, right? But he did go 13, 1, and 5 and went like made Faker go 0 and 11. But kind of curious as to what he uh, he did in this game. So we're going to go watch it. Uh, build wise, we can go look at his rune page. He's running Electrocute, uh, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection. Interesting on the uh, Relentless Hunter. I usually find that roaming, you, you get to be like really behind in levels. But we'll see what he does in game. For secondary, he's running Sorcery, um, Nimbus Cloak, and uh, Absolute Focus, which is like standard in Korea. And then he took two Adaptive Force and two Magic Resist. Uh, ability max, he maxes W over his Q, which is understandable in the Zoe matchup. You want to be prioritizing maxing your W in ranged matchups because Qing into Zoe is just, just practically killing yourself because he uh, Zoe will just use her, her bubble and, and uh, zone you off, right? And use her sleepy on you. Um, build path. He started Dorn's shield pot. I will look at that again. Okay, let's see. So his first item, he went Dorn's shield with HP pot. Um, that I would question that because he does have an aggressive jungler like Nidalee. You could contest for 2v2. Because usually if you are if you have like a jungler like say Karthus is when I usually go like Corrupting Pot or like Doran's Shield, something defensive because you're not going to get any help from your jungler. I always go to Land Talon this game, go super long, can sell boots, get on the damage round with like 419 moves from her. Yeah. It only pays off if you get a gank off. You get the, the bonus movement speed. So he's hovering top side with Nidalee right now. Patriot's doing red. Just hovering there, first team. Interestingly enough, he already put a point in his W. Usually people want to hold off when they're uh, when they're going for invades like that. I think Q is the best start because it deals the maximum amount of damage, but they already put a point in his W. You don't get items based on the jungle. No, I, I usually get items based on jungler if I'm going to get help or not. Okay, Faker is... Putting his distance on him. The spacing is really good on Faker here. He's going super close. Yeah, since Zoe has the adva uh, range advantage early, she's uh, Faker is actually putting himself up the front. Ooh. Okay, he's getting poked a lot. Faker already used a corrupting pot there. He's running, yeah, he's running corrupting pot. Oh, Natalie gank. Okay. Okay, Natalie got the our talent got the kill. Okay, he's gonna shove in this wave. I think the reason that gang went really well is because he basically pushed let the wave push in and then he was like showing uh the bottom left side where in Italy was free uh open to go on the the right bush but it does. He actually doesn't back. Okay, maybe this is how he hard won the game. It looks for a roam bot. Oh, it's a four man bot. Did I have to stack this this uh bot wave really well? Oh, there's just completely he's zoning them off. Ooh, okay. Okay, they got 
two kills, two for one. Or actually not two for one, two for two for that. Let's see what he buys. Serrated Dirk. And he bought a refill. Okay, he bought a refillable uh, pot. He, he hasn't changed his trinket yet. Still have a uh, stealth ward. Back to lane. Actually, he was considering of missing that CS to just rotate to the team right now. What did Faker buy? Okay, Faker still has a corrupting pot. Doesn't have any items. Bot lane's DCing. Okay, right now he's negating like 11 or so armor with his uh, rated Dirk. And Faker doesn't have any armor, right? So he's gonna do a lot of damage. So you gotta abuse that early. Okay, it's hovering bot side, but it's worded. Bot is super extended right now. Oh, they know. Come back. Baker's getting really oom right now. Yeah, it's almost impossible to land a Q auto W on Zoe. It's like really hard to engage with your, your Q first. You could easily throw out her, her bubble on the town. Going out of vision, she's pinging Mia. But like three points in his W so far. Cool. Uh, nice, just hard baited faker there. Push this wave in. I want to see what he, he buys next here. Jungle div, yeah. But you got you gotta give him props for freezing the wave, like, or not freezing the wave, just letting his wave put like near his turret, and like faker extend him without any wards there. Yeah, two long swords and boots. He still hasn't changed his trinket yet, which is interesting. Usually, you want to change your trinket to oracles once you have boots. Also, back in. What do you think about the new talent? Kind of pay to win score. Yeah, the the new skin is actually pretty pretty nice. I feel like it's it like hides his W right or the second part of Rake. I don't. Know. I haven't tested it out yet. For kindred, yeah, I think this game is just hard. Hard jungle death. Yeah, he's dead. Baker doesn't get any armor. It's just lucidity and uh, lucidity and uh, dark seal. Chen TP. Oh, he's literally a five man already. Just farming his waves. Probably has enough to get uh, Dust Glade by now, right? What is he doing? I think he's looking for their, their jungler. Finally back in. Got the team items. Faker bot, mana crystal, control ward. Ok, 
He's bought Caulfields and a long series. Wait, I'm kind of confused right now. What is he? What is he building it into? Oh, I know why he got an extra long sword. I think it's for he does, he probably didn't have enough gold to uh, complete dust blade. Usually, when you guys don't have enough to uh, get your mythic, people try to uh, buy an extra long sword. Uh, you can animation cancel that, by the way. Once Zoe lands her uh, her E, the minute you hear the tick, you can E over the wall and it anima animation cancels on the, the E. Wow, uh, okay, wait, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch that. What did he do? I think it was a WQR auto. Are you queued? Onto a minion of it. Boy, I'm so confused. What combo did he use on the Zoe? Not even figure to react, yeah. I'm gonna slow it down. 0.25. Actually, that was really fast. Oh, okay. It's flash WQR auto. It's a flash flower combo, okay. Well played by him. Pushing in mid. That's 66 CS. Yeah, it's just a normal flower combo. But I think it, it might be better if you, you Q engage on that because you when you th flash then W, I don't like doing that because there's a, there's like a stutter that makes you stand still, right? For some reason he did it pretty smoothly. Got a bunch of blades. He probably not he's gonna get his dust blade next here. Oh man, that moving speed is too good. Okay, well played. He's lucky he didn't get crit you, yeah. He crit you, that would have screwed up his combo for sure. Okay, he's recalling. So far, he actually hasn't really used uh, Relentless Hunter here. What do you guys think? Would you have taken Ulti Hunter or Relentless Hunter here? Went lucidity. Basically has like an item over Faker already. I feel like relentless more. But uh, the thing is, this game he hasn't used it at all. He's mostly hovered mid lane, which I would think he's only roamed once, and he's hovered mid game most of the time, and so you would. You would think that uh, Ulti Hunter would be more worth. Well, in terms of the gameplay he's shown here, right? Because I remember I used to run Relentless 2 in my games and find that it becomes like useless come 20 25 minutes late into the game when you need a CDR for your ulti. What is this replay? We're watching a talent that made Faker go own an 11. Yeah, he got his oracles right around when he got his like full boots, I guess. So much ability haste to don't build emus so you like relentless. I, I want I wanna test it out. Okay, Faker is finally getting some armor. <laughs> or maybe I don't know, maybe he's just running it down at this point. Oh, okay. W over the wall. I mean, he, he can like walk to his teammates a lot faster and get to skirmishes really quick. Right, let's speed it up a bit. Falling. What he buys? Umbral Glaive. Okay. Vision clearing, I guess. Yeah, before like the mythics, people or people used to rush Umbral Glaive to clear waves when they're roaming. Or sorry, clear wards, I mean. Yeah, he's a 1-7 now. Blue team Blue 
I'll just list some of the things he did at the end of the video. I'll list some of the things that this talent did that I noticed that you may have not noticed. But so far, as nothing seems weird about his build. They got another serrated. Dude, he's literally, he's literally just farming Faker at this point. Who builds Umberglade? It's actually pretty good. I, I honestly don't build it in low elo. Nobody wards. On like Challenger, there's a bunch of wards. You get a bunch of gold, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this game might be slightly jungle diff. Because if you get help as your... Uh, you get help from your jungler as talent, the game should pretty much be over because talent will just roam everywhere. Ruby Crystal. Oh, he's getting he's getting uh, Edge of Night. Edge of Night is really good versus Zoe. It blocks initial bubble. Baker finally got Seekers at 17 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I would say it is a bit of a jungle gap. But you gotta give props to him for the state of the wave. Yeah, nothing too special that I've noticed. Uh, okay, having skirmish. I think they're pretty much just gonna surrender at this point. Just clearing waves. Alright, they FF. Alright, so let me know in the, the comment section what do you guys think? Relentless versus Ulti Hunter. I have my reasons that uh, Ultimate Hunter is better here. One, he spent most of the time of the game mid lane rather than roaming. He never roamed top. He's hovered to this side of the bush and he's roamed bot like twice, right? And so I feel like Ulti Hunter at that point would have been better. Um, a couple of things I noticed is that his his boost, he took Lucidity, which is kind of uh, weird. Usually people go like Plated Steel Caps or Mercs, but definitely Lucidity gives you the uh, cooldown reduction because he didn't go Ulti Hunter. And uh, what did I notice? Oh, his laning phase. Um, he gave up... I don't know. No, he didn't give up most of these. He's very aggressive in terms of farming. Like he'd take a couple of Zoe's autos and Qs. Or a bit of CS, and that's how you win in lane versus uh, Talon versus ranged matchups. And um, uh, Oracles, you take it right when you get your boots. What else did I notice this game? Overall, I think he played really well. I mean, he set up the wave where he pretty much just mirrored. He was on the bottom left. Faker was uh, was on the uh, the bottom uh, right, right towards the uh, the Nidalee. And pretty much just uh, baited Faker into dying level one, but I do say it's a jungle diff. But the plan uh, talent played really well. I was really impressed by the the flash flash flower combo. Yeah. Um. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And anyways, that is all, guys.